intensive versus extensive properties of matter. This is something you probably haven't seen before. I know a lot of stuff about matter you may have covered in 6th through 8th grade, even ninth grade in IPC, but intensive and extensive properties are a little bit different than anything you may have already studied. An intensive property is a property of the substance in intensive, in and of itself. That means that the matter itself has the property, not how much of the matter it is. It has nothing to do with how much you have, but only the substance itself. An extensive property depends on the extent, for extensive, the extent of matter that you have. The extent means the amount. So if you have a lot of something, it will change its extensive property versus if you have just a little bit of something. So an example of an extensive property is mass. The more you have as of a substance, its mass will change. An intensive property could be color. Color doesn't change just because you have more of something. You're going to look at the problems at the bottom and determine if these are intensive properties. Again, that just means that it's a property of the substance itself or extensive properties that are based on how much of the substance you have. Again, flammability is whether or not it will burn. Magnetism is whether or not it will attract a magnet. <clears throat> and corrosiveness down here is whether or not something will corrode, which means will it get eaten away by an acid. If you have questions over the rest of these, let me know.